Hello and welcome to Concept Brunch with Ready, where we make math and science easy and fun. We break down through the math and science problems step by step, making it easier for you to understand. In this video, we'll be exploring exponent power, or indices, or laws of exponents, or thirds, or scientific notation according to the different name, but the same thing. On the basic level to advanced level. So, let's start with the basic concept. First of all, we'll go for the definition. An exponent refers to how many times a number called the base is multiplied by itself. For example, uh, let's take the general thing that is your a to the power n. We can just write as a times a times a times a times and so on. We can write till n times. So this last a is till n times. Okay. Let's take an example. Okay. So I'll take an example. Okay. For example, suppose 3 to the power of 4. So we can write 3 times, 3 times, 3 times, and 3. Okay. And we can write as a 81. Over here, we can say that this 3 is your base. Okay. And the 4 we can say as a exponent or we can say indices as well depends okay the laws of exponent on the basic level there are five types of basic rules we have to follow so laws of exponent in some books they write as a laws of indices as well okay i n t i c e s okay so basically uh, the terms of indices and uh, the terms of exponent are simply the different names for same mathematical rules let's start with the mathematical rules first first of them the product of power rule so product of the power rule in that it says if the bases are same okay for example a to the power m times a to the power n simply we can write a to the power m plus n so bases are same power will be added up and just oppose it in a quotient of the power rule, a to the power m divide with a to the power n, we can simply write a to the power m minus n. It's very easy to remember, right? So let's take an example for this. If we'll take an example here, for first case, suppose it is 3 square times 3 to the power 3, we can write 3 to the power 2 plus 3, and we can write 3 to the power Five, that is 243 okay in second case let's take an example you can take an example as 5 to the power 5 division 5 to the power 3 suppose so what we can write 5 to the power 5 minus of 3 and we can write 5 square and that is your 25 okay third rule is a power of power rule in that it says a to the power m to the power n simply we can write as a a to the power m times of n for example over here we can write as a suppose 3 square to the power of 3 right so we can write 3 to the power 2 times 3 that is 3 to the power 6 okay next one is the power of product rule power of the product rule is a b to the power m we can break it a to the power m times b to the power m for example 2 times 3 whole square we can write as a 2 square times of 3 square okay and we can simplify afterwards we can write as a 4 times 9 also and you can write the answer as a 36 also next zero exponent rule in that something to the power zero is always one doesn't matter what it is it can be million trillion if something to the power zero is always one so simply we can write as a a plus b to the power zero is also one 5x square to the power 0 is also 1. Simply 6 to the power 0 is also 1 only. Okay. Thanks for watching. 
If this video helped you understand exponent power better, make sure give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or if there is any topic you would like to cover with me, drop a comment below. I love to hear that from you. And please share it with your friends and classmates who might also need a little help with exponents. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in next video with medium and advanced level for the next video. Link is in comment section. And for you, a challenging question is this. Please answer it in a comment box. I will love to see the answer. If the answer will be correct, I'll give a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.